Hi Libra, welcome to your September messages from spirit. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're going to take a look at what spirit wants you to know at this time. What are the messages most needed? So we're going to take the energies as they come. So take them how they resonate for you. We could get a lot of little tiny messages or one big cohesive message, depending so it's up to you to trust your intuition and higher knowing and know what is meant for you and what is not so welcome in welcome in hope everyone's doing well well there you go staying safe and healthy at this time this is for sun moon rising male or female general collective reading so again please only take it how it resonates for you if you feel like at any time maybe something is um someone else's energy or it's a situation regarding somebody else but it affects you you definitely can switch energies around if you feel the need to how many time how many we have here i want about five i get five messages for libra 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 what does libra need to know this time all right and everything you need to know libra is down below in the description box pin top comment everything you need to know about me and my channel my patreon is down there i do offer extended readings on some of the readings here on the channel no extended here so you get it all in this reading today all right libra so let's see what we have here so we have nature this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality times out. Quality time outdoors. So maybe some of you are spending too much time inside. You need the sunlight. You need the vitamin D. You need to ground yourself. Breathe in the fresh air and get back up get back out there for some of you who enjoy to be outdoors doing outdoor activities whatever they may be it could be walking your dog going for a little stroll going hiking gardening whatever you love to do outside even if you like just to sit outside in the sun um or whatever you like to do here it's time to reconnect with the outdoors and we have here let go once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best interests at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So there's something here. I'm getting something around the fall season. And with nature over there too we are in summer right now. So something could be coming up for you this fall season or maybe something okay something like in the past year because fall is coming up and i feel like for some of you maybe something happened with a situation whatever it was for you a person a place a situation whatever here maybe last fall and maybe it's still been an ongoing situation or process and you're wondering oh you know is this going to be like this forever i feel like something may happen this fall where you'll be be able to finally it's almost like a year timing here where you'll finally be able to just let go or getting the answers you need or something coming into peace harmony and balance and you can no longer now you you know you can let it go and it will no longer uh, constrain you in any way now you can just leave it in the past it's kind of what i'm getting here Hmm. All right, let's see. So we do have here support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they may move on while others return because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So what I, I feel like is going to happen here is maybe the, for some of you, it could have been uh, falling out with somebody and it's been like a year and you're like, okay, is this person out of my life for good? It could be a lifelong friend. It could be a lover. It could be anybody, even a family member. And it could be coming back around this fall where now we're just letting go of the energy and now you know the person is meant to come back in your life because they're meant to be by your side for certain reasons to help you to guide you to lend you support for you to learn from them for their advice their guidance for your healing their healing healing of situations hmm okay and we have intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born with 
all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which helps us connect, helps, I can't even read, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. I'm kind of feeling like here, you may see this coming back around. I feel like a cycle is finally going to close for you. It's been like a year timing here. Somebody could actually be coming back around after about a year, maybe because they need to support you in some way coming up here in the fall season for some reason. And maybe your intuition is telling you or you're seeing something's going to happen or something's coming to a close. This person's coming back around. They're going to be coming back into my life or there's a reconnection here. So you may feel it, sense it, know it. You've been maybe having dreams, uh, getting deja vu, seeing the signs, the symbols, uh, different things in your life. Just trust that energy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect with the source, to the source. But I also feel like here, you know, make sure you're staying connected to your intuition, your higher knowing, um, to source or your spirituality, your religion, whatever it is for you. But I also feel like here, there's a connection coming back around because it's not met yet to leave your life yet. Okay, did I say that right? It's not yet meant <laughs> for you, for it to leave your life yet. So even if there's been a falling out or something, it's coming back around. Now, if you're saying, oh, this is a lover, I don't want, blah, blah, it's probably not that. So, I mean, use your common sense. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say this stuff, but I got to say it because people automatically assume it's some, something coming back around they don't want. So if you're in that mindset, you still need to heal something and it's probably not your reading or that it's probably not that. So, but there's a connection here. It's coming back around. You're meant to be stay connected with this energy, this person, this place or thing. Wow, okay. Well, let's see here. What else do we have for Libra at this time? There's no extended here at Libra, um, but like I said, I do offer some extended, so if that's something you're interested in, I do have links down below of all your August readings and the um, September readings I have already done, which are no contact in your monthly. Next week, I'll be working on singles. After that, uh, I do have a channel, uh, reading on the channel if you're not familiar with it. I just started. It's a new series called Obstacles and How to Overcome Them which uh, people seem to like. And then I also do a Twin Flame reading. So I have um, quite a variety here on the channel. All right. What else do we need to know here for Libra? What else for Libra? Let's get one more for Libra. All right, that one. I felt like there was going to be a jumper. All right. Teaching and learning, exactly. So we have 57 here, which is 12, which is three, which is about, you know, building new foundations, teamwork, collaboration. There's still someone here that you either going to reconnect with, a connection that is meant to be in your life, even if there's been a falling out for the past year or so. Um, it's all about teaching and learning here in this situation. So again, we have 57, which is 12, which is three, which is all that energy, teaching and learning. Wow. Building, maybe building a new found foundation um, in this connection or situation. See, personal growth. I feel like maybe the separation here was for your personal growth and their personal growth. Maybe time apart was necessary, whether it was a love situation or not. Um, but we have seven here, divinely guided spiritual energy, something meant to be here between two. And I feel like really, really teaching and learning between each other. Even while you were apart, you may have still been connected through um, that energetic connection, whether it was love or not. And I also see nature over here, which nature can be about growth, expansion, prosperity, something, you know, you have to take your time to nurture 
and let it grow and uh, blossom. Transformation. We have the butterflies there also. See, look at this relationship change. And we have 11. 11 is about being on the right path, going in the right direction. Keep going, Spirit says. Keep going. This is the right path. So definitely divinely guided energy here. It's the right path that there's some sort of relationship change now. Whoever this may be for you, it is all meant to be this way. Time out. Exactly. This time out was necessary. 3710. So there may have been an ending in the connection, in the relationship where we just totally disconnected it could be a friend a family member it could be your own parent a co-worker anything here maybe even a job you know maybe you went on hiatus for maybe a season maybe a year maybe a month the time out was necessary 37 can be about like endings or just that time out but what there's a new beginning here wow rest rejuvenation especially with that nature energy and we, now we have manifestation which is eight travel action communication so something new is coming in here something is manifesting whether you see it or not something coming back around there's been growth definitely relationship change here wow all right what else do we have here for Libra? So I want to get some of these and then we're going to tie it up at the end with the tarot. Pull some tarot, just tie it all together. And then I do have the prayer cards over here. So I'll pull you one just to give you a little affirmation, prayer, a little extra guidance. So take it as you will at the end. All right, for Libra. What else do we need to know here for Libra? Libra. Libra energy here for Libra. What do they need to know for Libra, please? Get a couple more. A couple more for Libra. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. All right, that one. One more. I feel like that wants to be a flyer, but... All right. Libra. Let's see. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So you may have been worried over this whole situation for the past year, if it's been a year, because I'm kind of seeing fall and we're coming into fall, let's see, in about a month. So something's changing in about a month's time here, I feel. You could be a little worried about this whole situation or you've been worrying about this, but it's telling you here not to worry. Some new energy is being manifested here empathy i am open to seeing both sides of a situation so this is being open to communication on both ends seeing both sides of a story hearing you know each side out now over talking over judging and just taking in all points of view situation whatever it is here and taking in how the other energy feels along making sure they're doing the same on your side also health I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Again, again, with nature over there. So I feel like it was the healthy thing to do here to have this time out. It was absolutely necessary. It could be for some. Again, I'm getting like a year for some. Whatever this was, it could have been, you know, a work situation or I don't think a lot of places would hold your job for a year, but hey, you never know. Uh, maybe it's been because of the pandemic um health reasons you know um but it was absolutely necessary here but there's no need to worry so you know if you've been worrying about this this whole time i think it's just time to kind of that it's not going to change anything so there's no use worrying i mean we all do it and we do have grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so during this time of a time out or an ending definitely there was a grieving process but then appreciating the personal growth, the changes that are coming in, the learning and the teaching in the situation, and knowing that whatever this is, is coming back around because it's meant to be in your life. We do have death here, though. I am learning that endings are merely new, are merely beginnings. So 
I'm not feeling like anybody died, but I'm just feeling like, again, something came to an end. But it was for the best for everybody. And now it's coming back around stronger, better, bigger than before. But it was all necessary. Wow. All right, things are changing. Okay, some sort of relationships changing. It's coming back around stronger, bigger, better than before. A lot of growing, personal growth on both ends. There's been, whether you're aware, a lot of teaching and learning on both sides. All right, for some, I feel like it's a lover. For some, I feel like it's a parent. For some, a sibling. For some, a friend. For some, it's, it's like a job situation. So you'll have to take it how it resonates for you. All right. Let's see here for um, Libra. What else do we need to know here for Libra? Queen of Wands. Very fiery, passionate, go-getter energy. Something's coming back. And it's going to be more exciting, fiery, inspirational, uh, creative, new, exciting energy. Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. So honest communication here is going to happen. There could have been a lot of, you know, checking out what are they up to without them knowing it. You know, kind of energy also. A social media could be at least six of swords so things are going to move forward into peace harmony and balance and whatever this past energy was it's all going to be left behind it could be traveling or distance what else here for libra moving some could be moving judgment again this is healing forgiving letting go of the things no longer uh serving and also judgment is a resurrection so a soulmate can be anybody. Again, it could be your pet. It could be family, friend, co-worker, your boss. But, you know, it doesn't have to be a love situation. So something is coming back around here with judgment. Second chances, healing, forgiving, letting go, life review, relationship review. Something meant to be here, universal law and order. Making a final decision here to move forward. So now we have the Knight of Swords. This is going to happen quickly. I feel like once the resurrection happens, whatever this is, things will move forward very, very quickly. All right. What else here? Oops, that's too many for Libra. Seven of Cups. So again, and I feel like this has to do with the worry because the Seven of Cups can be illusion, confusion, options choices um a dreamy kind of energy not really sure about something here but i think you're going to get that clarity of mind once this happens here and things start to move forward we're going to get over the illusion and confusion in the situation and it, it may have to start with having empathy on both sides Four of Cups. So very disenchanted, melancholy energy about the whole situation. Not sure, you know, I guess some pondering here, is this disconnect forever? You know, is this going to come back around? But I think some of you definitely with that intuitive nudge just definitely felt like this was going to come back around in some way, shape or form in some way at some time. And I definitely feel like that's what's happening here. All right. What else here? Some of you, if you did lose somebody here, um, we got health, death, and grief. So maybe some of you have lost somebody here to the pandemic. Um, gosh, if, if that happened, I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, it's okay to grieve. You need to go through this grieving process. It's for your own health. You'll be forever connected with this person. Is what I see there with stay connected. It's okay to reach out for support, friends, family, 
uh, counseling, therapy, whatever you need here to get through. But then once, you know, energy here of needing to kind of let it go and know you're forever connected. Energetically. All right. You could be getting, you know, if someone did pass over, you could be getting signs through nature. You know, whether it's butterflies, whether it's um, like seeing a, a star, like at the same spot every single day. Maybe even some for you in during the day and you're like, how is there a star during the day in the same spot? <laughs> you know, definitely it could be it. The devil, Capricorn energy there. Okay, I don't usually say the signs, but I did. So maybe some of you were dealing with a Capricorn, but this is the toxic energy here. Some of you could have been, you know, if it was a toxic situation, that's why there was a letting go. But there's been a lot of teaching, learning, personal growth, and a lot of change here. A timeout was needed. Maybe someone had to end something. It could have been an addiction, obsession that really got in the way of your connection. So you had to let this person go and say, until you grow, you have that personal growth. And you learn what you need to do for yourself. I'm kind of out of the situation. So this could be the ending of, with death here, obsessions, addictions, whatever it was. All right. Definitely pondering, you know, did they really, really overcome something here with the devil next to it? All right. What else? Six of Wands. So, yes, they did successfully here. Six of Wands is about success. So, if you're wondering, did they really, really successfully um, overcome an addiction or something? I would say yes. The Six of Wands there. The Tower. Major, major shakeup and change here. Surprise. Shakeup. Shakedown. Epiphany. Awakening. Aha moment big big change and shift here things again the wheel of fortune getting better going in the right direction something meant to be here divine timing all about divine timing new stability and growth here ten of pentacles long-term stability and growth so i think whatever happened here king of pentacles someone being very very strong stable and grounded so whatever somebody did uh beat out here it's for the long term so i think you could trust this energy all right Let's see here. Oops, let's see. Let's get one of these here for Libra. And again, if it did resonate, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Everything you need to know is down below also. All right, let's get one little affirmation or prayer here for Libra. Take this how it resonates. And I'll tell you the messages I get from whatever comes out here. All right, that one. Okay, what do we have? I am with you always. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. Matthew 28, 20, 10, 20, something. October 20th could be a significant date. Or February 10th. But 10 is about endings, a new beginning. And then we have two, which is about unities. And that would equal to three, which would be building a new foundation. This... It's something that's meant to be and come back in your life forever connected here with I am with you always. Wow. All right, Libra. <laughs> so again, and if you had someone passed over, they are with you always. Just trust in that. Okay, Libra. Best of luck to you. Sending you many, many light, love, and blessings. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.